I truly believe Jesus is a better answer than Senate Bill 2. And I'm going to begin my comments from, with some words from Scripture in Proverbs. In the book of Ephesians, James says, But in Genesis, the Lord said, It is not good for man to be alone. The Lord God made a woman from the rib, and they will become one flesh. How do we deal with or what is the attitude towards those who choose homosexuality over heterosexuality? I believe I was called to serve in this Senate and to be used for his service. I cannot hide my love for my Lord and Savior, for Jesus, and the complete word of God that's given to us in the Bible. The Apostle John said, he actually said it in 1 John, 1 John 4, 8. Pillars of human happiness, religion, and morality. Where did they get their words from? Where did they get what they believed from? I believe it was from the Bible. So let's look to the Bible just a little bit, as Senator Lundberg did. Our Constitution was made only for a moral and religious people. I'd ask you to consider religion and morality. Jesus loves all of us and only wants the best for his creation. Turn to him and follow him is what I would ask you to do, because Jesus loves you. And I'd ask you to vote no on Senate Bill 2. But 10 minutes isn't enough time to really rightly divide God's word. I invite you Tuesday mornings to a Bible study. More time is put aside for that then.